I really need to lock in and work more, more efficiently actually attempt to expand my business and take on more work. I think I potentially found a new client today that I was talking about yesterday or the other day or whatever. I was rekindling with him and I don't know how much I'm going to charge because he doesn't want the full service as to what I can provide, just a small segment of it. And it's probably only going to take me a few hours a day. So I am think, I don't know, I don't want to undercharge nor overcharge. I kind of just want to say, $5,000 per month. And then that will cover my expenses while I'm in Colombia. I can spend five grand a month. That would be the ideal situation, but I, I don't know, even know if I'm going to close it. So I have a bunch of free time now. So I'm actually thinking I'm, I'm going to try and expand my business and then I'll show you guys how I'm actually going to do that. So what I think I'm going to do tomorrow is figure out the top 25 people that I would want to work with because I only want to work with a very small percentage of people. So when I find those 25 people, I'm then going to reverse engineer how I can solve their problems for them. And I'm going to do that for free. And then I'm going to find a way to structure some sort of deal with them. That's exactly what I would do. And a lot of them I will potentially have some sort of connection with because I'm friends with most people in the space. And my space is I help large business owners sell their products on social media. At least recently, those have been the ideal clients. I'm looking for people who ha are making a lot of money from their business, also have a pretty large social media. And their goal is to convert viewers into paying customers. And I can help them 10x their views and hopefully 10x their customer base. And so one guy I'd really like to work with is Russell Bronson. He's a digital marketing genius. Uh, he does all the back end funnels. He owns click funnels. I think they do like two hundred million dollars per year. And I know I could provide him a ton of value. And I'll be seeing Ken tomorrow. So I'm gonna try and talk to Ken about, hey, can you give me a foot in the door here? And this other guy, Tarl, who runs a bunch of live events, and I'm sure he is a connection. Tarl wants me to work with him, but I don't. He's not the kind of person that I want to work with. Just not my specialty with what he's doing. And so when I have, even if it's not 25, maybe I only find five people and that's completely fine with me. I'm going to just figure out how I can take on another client or two if I don't get this other one. If I do get this new client that I was talking to today, which I ended up having an hour long conversation, most of it just about Christianity and God. And then I think I will close it. Uh, I probably won't take on more work for at least another month or two because I want to make sure I'm focusing and not taking on more work than I can handle. I want to systematize every new client that I get. So if I do get the client, then I don't know what I'll do. I'll just take on another client. If I don't, then I'm going to start really looking for another one. And the first person is going to be Russell Brunson guarantee it and those are the type of people that i can make there's a lot of upside with and i always talk about having higher leverage opportunities really the only reason why i would be considering this lower leverage opportunity like let's say four to five grand per month with this guy is because i want to cover my expenses while i'm in colombia and i i don't even think i'd spend five thousand dollars per month i'm just saying that's what i would allow myself to spend because that would be just extra income then i can save and invest everything else but I don't know if any of this is going to happen. It's probably not. Just spewing nonsense right now. <sighs> because I'm in such a good position where I'm surrounded by the top business owners, uh, the best resources in the entire world, and I'm being a fucking idiot by not taking more advantage of it. I mean, I'm being an idiot by not working harder. I'm people always say, Josh, you're so hard on yourself. And you're right. You're right. I am ridiculously hard on myself. So what? So what? I mean, that that is completely fine with me. Uh, if I want to, if I'm going to be hard on somebody else to show results, I am going to be 10 times harder on myself. And it's because I know I can do better. Uh, when I know with definitive confidence 
in 100% certainty that I can do better and I'm not, then that is an effort problem. And why would I not put in additional effort? There's no reason. And so I get very frustrated with myself when I do this. It's because I, I know that I can do anything I want, but it's not just going to come easily. You got to put in the work. I've been taking it easy. So I got to get back on the saddle.